Oh hi, Cooper here. So anyways, it's been a while since I've seen you guys. Uh, today I'm just going to be talking about random stuff that uh, I it's happened and been in my life and uh, things that have happened on YouTube since I've been on, which a lot's changed since I've been on YouTube. Like right now we got PewDiePie and T-Series basically going at it. Freaking crazy seeing the number one, you know, YouTuber getting chased down by a company out of India. Uh, so... Um, I'm sure either way it doesn't really make a difference. He's still going to be the greatest of all time. Uh, I don't think any single normal like person is going to ever catch up to PewDiePie and pass him. But I mean, corporations, we're going to be seeing a lot more of that. I think in the uh, YouTube world, uh, I think a lot more corporations are starting to see how relevant uh, YouTube really is and are trying to jump on board and grow their own brands now that they see that the real like TV stuff is starting to die down a little bit um, I think YouTube is definitely going to be the future um, which is why you see YouTube being a little bit crazy about who and what they share on their platform platform and uh, being a little bit more strict with some things but yeah uh, me personally where have I been uh, just I guess working and living life and uh, got a little into a little depressed state, but uh, uh, really didn't like how things were going at the point. I uh, got a little bit chubbier, started drinking a lot of beer and uh, eating pizza, you know, eating like a full pie to my face at like 3 in the morning every night. Uh, was partying a lot. <laughs> so yeah, I got a little chubby, so I might look a little bit different. My hair's a little longer. Uh, I got this weasel all over my face. Uh, so. Anyways, uh, yes, uh, some other things like I noticed uh, there's been a lot of crap going on. There's a lot of changes since uh, I've made videos. Uh, we got all the, like, you can't s say certain things anymore. You, uh, a lot of people are being censored. You had the all the, the Paul Brothers situation, which um, it looks like they're starting to get back into uh, not doing dumb shit, I guess, which... They're starting to mature a little bit, it looks like, which I hope they do, you know, uh, everything that happened, I hope that they did actually learn from their mistakes and don't do anything stupid anymore. I know they're at that point um, where they're just trying to one-up each other and they're trying to stay relevant as hard as possible and they're really pushing their merch. I think that's the funniest thing about the Paul brothers uh, is just how much they like are like, buy my merch! And uh, every freaking video, basically, and every song they do, they always have to drop a line about their merch. Um, I know this is all probably like old news to all you guys, but I just wanted to give my opinion on it. I think it's funny. Um, one of the kids I went to school with, Jack Avery, he hangs out with them. Uh, so, I think it's just funny to see uh, that, you know, there's people... Uh, and how crazy some people are just to be famous. Uh, I, I, I won't lie, I, there was a point where I probably would have been the same way if I blew up like they did. I mean, that's a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot. I mean, I, I was, I, I did you now for a little bit, if any of you guys remember that or even know what the hell that is, uh, and I was getting like a thousand people watching me at a time, and, uh, it was... I definitely had to stop for a minute and like check myself like a thousand people isn't nothing It's nothing compared to the millions and millions of people that they get but like still even just that thousand people I felt myself starting to be like oh shit I'm like kind of a little bit famous like at least locally I was like famous where people would recognize me be like oh shit you're Cooper and I'd be like yeah and like people would like want to take pictures with me I wasn't even like big I was just you know I only have like now, I only have 500 subscribers, and then I only had, you know, like a thousand people watching me there, but like, I don't know, it's just crazy, that's part of the reason why I stopped making these too, I don't know if I could actually, like, I don't know if I want to be famous, like if I did accidentally become famous somehow, like if I just stumbled into it, like I just make these videos for me mostly, and just like, if I make like one or two people happy, that's all that really matters, but like, I don't know how I would react to it. Like, I'm afraid that I'm going to become an asshole or arrogant because of it, um, which probably won't happen, but I'm, that's just one of those things that's in the back of my mind. It's always been in the back of my mind. Is like, will I still be the genuine person that I am? Um, I mean, some people hate me. I mean, there's people in real life that think I'm an asshole. I mean, I kind of am. I mean, pff, let's be real. Who isn't like an asshole sometimes? But, uh, 
like, especially when it comes to, like, politics stuff, uh, I can be a real dick because I like to troll people a lot. Um, I'm one of those assholes that likes to troll. Um, not afraid to admit that. I'm. This is open. This is this is just basically me rambling. I'm, I, I want to do a lot of rambling videos like this. I think it'd be more fun. Um, definitely a platform that I'd like to do more is just rambling, talk about giving you guys the real me, letting you see the real me. But I have other things that I want to do um, on this channel. I want to do. I hope I'm not talking too fast. <laughs> uh, I do that a lot when I start talking. Uh, my mind just goes. And, uh, yeah, loony. I'm a loony bin. But, uh, it just goes so fast that it, it makes it hard for, like, I'm, I hope you guys can understand what I'm saying. Uh, it's not just, like, all just, like, coming at you fucking, uh, MGK style, um, you know. Speaking of which, that was crazy. Uh, that MGK Eminem thing, uh, wow. Like, I feel like, uh... A lot of people think it was staged. I'm one of them. I think that uh, both of them got together. And, uh, it, it was a way to make them both relevant again. Because they both kind of fell off um, in the rap world. So there's that. That's one of those things uh, which I think Eminem's came a little bit harder. But, you know, if you think the other way, that's cool. Everyone's got their own opinion. You can leave it down in the below and be like, yo, fuck you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like I said, a lot of stuff has happened. Um, and one of the other things that uh, I want to do on this channel is I do want to finally, I want to do a podcast I want with a couple friends and stuff. I want to do uh, some kind of sketch or something like uh, whether or even a short film, even if it's just me coming up with something on my own and it's just like one character thing. Uh, I want to do something creative. I'm tired of sitting here. Um, and not getting anything done. I want to actually build towards my future that I've always wanted to do. I just want to entertain people. Whether or not, you know, if it stays small, I don't give a crap. As long as someone's watching, I'll continue to try and push videos. Um, this time, for real, I think I'm actually going to be back and actually push this because it's been... I pushed it off way too long. Uh, but at this point, I should be way further ahead where I am now. Uh, and I've, I've basically been putting my own dream aside, which is stupid, and just kind of like, I kind of settled and started working like a normal job and everything and doing normal life stuff. And uh, that's not what I want to do. Uh, I definitely want to do something more on the creative route and something different, something, I just want to build something. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't know how often I'm going to be posting videos. I'm going to try to post as often as possible, as long as there's something interesting to talk about. Um, I'm going to try to stay up to date with news, whether it be gaming and or like... I don't know I don't know if I'm going to get political on this channel at all. Uh, I feel like that's not the route I should go, because I'll probably piss a lot of people off with uh, the way that I think. Uh, I'm not... Let's just say... Uh, Let's not say anything. <laughs> I'm not left. All right. Okay. So that, now that's all the way. Uh, I I don't know. There's just a lot of things to talk about. Uh, I just I'm drawing a blank right now. I mean, there's a bunch of games that I'm looking forward to playing, like Kingdom Hearts 3. Hopefully, I get to play that. That should be coming out soon. Uh, if if not out by the time this video is already out, I don't know when this is gonna be going up. Uh, there's some YouTubers that I've been watching, uh, just so you guys know, you can go check them out. Uh, I mean, I've, of course, I watch PewDiePie. I like, um, how his channel's turned, um, uh, from gaming to basically just doing whatever the hell he wants, which is what I think I'm going to do with my channel. Just whatever feels natural, whatever I want to make a video about, I'm just going to make a video about. And, you know, people are, if people watch, they watch. Um... I still watch Boogie2988, he's one of my favorite YouTubers, very real. Um, part of the reason why I'm doing this rambling thing right now is because he likes to do the rambling series as well. Um, I think it's fun to just see that, the real side of someone and someone being genuinely and real, genuine and real with you um, with no cuts or edits or anything like that. You can see all my mistakes and that's fine with me. I don't, I, I don't care if... whatever. You can see how unprofessional I am. <laughs> um, also, I've been watching Beat 'em Up. Um, he does a lot of, his channel kind of turned into like a Nintendo Switch channel. 
uh, he does basically just talks about a lot of things revolving around the Nintendo Switch, and you should definitely go check him out if you haven't yet. Uh, another one is Review Tech USA. He does gaming news. A lot of these are going to be gaming oriented because uh, I've kind of like I, I I like to play video games a lot, so I watch a lot of those guys. Um, Review Tech USA. He just does gaming news, and uh, sometimes he reviews tech despite his name. He doesn't review tech that often, which it's kind of funny, uh, but he's he's a good dude. Uh, definitely check his stuff out. Metal Jesus Rocks. He's another guy. He has a group of friends up in like the Seattle area and Washington, and he makes good content. I mean, they're all kind of like it's funny because they have like that kind of the Metal Jesus guys. They kind of look a little like camera shy still, but uh, they always give you like. They they do a lot of like retro stuff where they be like these were these are hidden gems of you know the Nintendo 64 and I really enjoy that I like finding new games that a lot of people haven't heard of or talked about so it's really cool to see something new and fresh like that. Um, I still watch uh, Brandon Rogers. I love his comedy over the top. I, that's the stuff I wish I could do. But now I'm at the point where I'm like you know. If I did that, now they'd be like, oh, you're copying Brandon Rogers. That's another thing, I guess, that kind of happened to me with my YouTube stuff, is that I feel like, because everyone's already kind of done everything, that it's hard to uh, make things original. So, like, I'm always afraid that people are just going to be like, oh, you're trying to be this person or this person. And it's it, it's not fair, because it's just, even their ideas really aren't original. Uh, but... It is what it is. I mean, if someone wants to compare me to someone, they can. Because everyone gets inspiration from other things. Uh, but yeah, so I don't want to make this video overly long. So I guess I'll just leave it there. Um, I...